Let's solve a system of three equations. Here are three equations with three variables, x, y, and z. Uh, equation 1, equation 2, equation 3. And in fact, let, let's label them as equation 1, equation 2, and equation 3. I think that's going to be useful for keeping track of what equation is which as we go through this. Um, when we want to solve a system of three equations, what we will do it by eliminating variables. Just like when eliminating variables to solve systems of two equations and two variables. Now, we can't do it all at once like in that case though. So instead what we'll do is we'll try to either eliminate x's or y's or z's and we'll do that between two of the three equations, either the first and second, or second and third, or first and third. Now, it, depending on which we choose to do first, it is possible that one, we, we, could, we could go down a more difficult road or an easier road. I'm going to try to uh, first pick the equation one and equation two. So we're going to try to eliminate either x's or y's or z's. And my first preference is try to eliminate the x's because I've got a negative 2 and a positive 3. I can multiply through the top by positive 3 and multiply through the second equation by, neg by uh, 2. And uh, if I do that, if I multiply this by 3 and this by 2, um, I'll have negative 6x and positive 6x. And then the rest will just be whatever. So let's try this. Equation 1 and here's why I noted that as equation 1 because it's going to look different now. We'll multiply the negative 2x by 3 so we get negative 6x and then we'll multiply, uh, since I multiplied that by 3, we'll multiply plus 3y times 3 that gets me 9y and then we'll multiply negative 5 times 3 so negative 15z and I put a little dash through my z because it looks like a 2 or sometimes. Um, and then we'll multiply negative 32 times 3. That gets me negative 96. Now in equation 2, I don't need to do, oh, I, I, I'm sorry, I do need to multiply through by 2 to make this 6x. So 2 times 3x is 6x. 2 times negative 4y is minus 8y. 2 times 2z is plus 4 z and 2 times 25 is 50. So my first goal is is to eliminate the x's and I'll do that by adding these two equations together and I'm gonna go ahead and just remind myself of that. I'll put parentheses around the bottom equation put a plus sign and remind myself that I'm adding. Negative 6x plus 6x gets me 0 which I can forget about. And then 9y plus negative 8y, remember I had to add here, so I have to add here, that gets me positive y. And then negative 15z plus 4z gets me minus 11z. And finally, don't forget to copy the equal sign, finally negative 96 plus 50 gets me negative 40. 6. Now, here I rewrote 1 and 2 because all I did is, is just change the look of 1 and 2. But this is an entirely different equation, so I'm going to call this 4. So at this point we have four separate equations, 1, 2, and 3, and then 4. Now what I'd like to do is get another equation with just two variables, and I'd like that equation to have a y and a z. So we're going to try to eliminate x again. Now I could either pick equation uh, 2 and 3, or I could pick equation 1 and 3 to eliminate the x's. Now it looks to me like it's going to be a lot easier to use equation 1 and 3 because all I have to do is multiply this first equation by 2 and I don't have to multiply this guy by anything because 2 times negative 2 is negative 4 and plus positive 4 that'll eliminate the x's. If I wanted to do equation 2 I'd have to multiply this by 4 or negative 4 and multiply this by 3 and uh, so I'd have to do a lot more work. So I'm going to choose equation 1 and I'm going to go ahead and rewrite it. So equation 1 looks like uh, I'll multiply through by 2 so I get negative 4 here to cancel with the 4 here. So 2 times negative 2 is negative 4x and then I, if, since I multiply this by 2 I have to multiply this by 2. So plus 6y. Uh, and then multiply this by 2 gets me minus 10z 
And finally, uh, don't forget to copy the equal sign, and then 2 times negative 32 is negative 64. Now, uh, luckily, uh, equation number 3 I can just copy. So that's just 4x. Be careful how you copy, by the way. Plus 5y minus 3z equals uh, negative 10. And again, I'm going to go ahead and try to uh, eliminate the x by adding together the two equations. Now, if the x's had the same sign, I would then subtract the two equations. But in this case, we have a negative 4x and a positive 4x, so we're going to add. So when I add those, I get 0. Now, since I'm adding those two, I will add these two, 6y plus 5y. That gets me 11y. And then negative 10z plus negative 3z gets me minus 13z. And negative 64 plus negative 10 gets me negative 74. Now again, this is a brand new equation different than all the others that I've had. So we're going to call this equation 5. And so now I have an equation 4 and equation 5 with just y's and z's. So I will now be able to eliminate either the y's or the z's with those two equations. Now, if you're l like me, when you're looking at equation 4 and equation 5, you're thinking to yourself, ooh, if only this 11 was with the z, oh, they'd cancel so easily. Sadly, we cannot do anything there. Um, we've got a choice. We either want to uh, eliminate y's or eliminate z's. And it looks to me like it'll be a lot more complicated to eliminate z's. I'd have to multiply the top by positive 13, everything and multiply the bottom by a uh, negative 11 everything and then the t then these guys could cancel so that's too much work here i could just multiply the top by a negative 11 on uh, on the y and that would get me negative 11y to cancel with positive 11y so let's do that so i'm going to rewrite the equation number 4 and i'm going to write it as negative 11y that's negative 11 times y. Negative 11 times negative 11 is plus 121, and that's z. And then uh, equal to negative 11 times 46. Again, it's negative 11 times negative 46. That'll get me a positive 506. Now, um, now that I've done that, I can go and add together equations 4 and 5. So I'm going to go ahead and put parentheses around the bottom equation and remind myself that I am adding these two. So I'll add these two, and then these two, and then these two. So 11y plus negative 11y is 0. Negative 13z plus 121z is 108z. And then 506 plus negative 74 is 432. And then it, I will divide both sides by 108. Divide by 108. And when I do, I find out that z is equal to 4. And I'm going to circle that because that's not my final answer. I box my final answer, but this is just a preliminary, this is just an intermediate answer, z equals 4. Now, uh, the next thing I need to do is I, I can plug this z back into either equation 4 or 5, and then I can solve for y. So I'm going to do that. Uh, it looks to me like it'll be easiest to solve equation 4. So I'm going to say equation 4, and uh, I'll say y is minus 11 times z, which is 4, equals negative 46. Um, this is negative 44, so y, uh, if I add 44 to both sides, I get y equals negative 2. And again, this is not my final answer, so I'll circle it and indicate this is an intermediate answer. Now, I'm almost there. We're, we're, we're in the, uh, we're, we're, we're running, this is the home stretch. So, um, let's go to the next screen. Alright, so we figured out z equals 4.
We figured out y equals negative 2 and now we'd like to find x. So what we'll do is we will substitute 4 and negative 2 back in for z and y into any one of these three equations. Remember we're looking for a solution to the entire system and that means that if it's a solution to 1 uh, it must be a solution to, well, it means that it must be a solution of all three equations. So, well, so it doesn't matter which equation we use, um, if we find the x value, it, if, if there is a solution for this system, um, it will be for all three equations. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, what are our choices? I'm thinking of the various choices, equation 2 looks the least intimidating. A um, lot of positive numbers. So equation 2, let's go ahead and substitute in 3x minus 4 times negative 2 and then plus 2 times z which is 4 equals 25. So that'll get me 3x plus 8 plus 8 equals 25. That gets me 3x equals 9. Divide by 3 gets me x equals 3. I circle it because that's not my final answer. That's 3 over there. And, uh, uh, and then I'll put together the x and the y and the z in order to form my final answer, which is 3 comma negative 2, comma 4, in parentheses, this is known as an ordered triplet, and that I can box. There we go. So that's my, that is my solution to this system of three equations.